Uh, hello guys, this is just a quick video to show you what the common causes for subwoofer <coughs> bus or hum. This one here is a powered subwoofer. We plug it in and it made a terrible noise as you just heard. When we open it up, we see down here we see the power transformer, and then here on the top uh, the main filter capacitors, and one of them is already bulging. So this uh, this is for sure this one is failing. It has lost capacitance and probably increased ESR too. So this one would need to be replaced, and the other one uh, we replace it together. We replace both of them and if they lose capacitance they cannot filter anymore the AC coming from the from the rectifier so this is what you hear at the output of the amplifier uh, we now first thing we have to make sure a new one fits in there so we take the dimensions we take the dimensions and the diameter here is about 20 millimeters and it's about 42 millimeters high you can actually choose anything that fits more or less in, in, the, sp in the space available so here I'm gonna head over to digikey.com it's one of the biggest distributors you can also go to any other distributor or wherever you depends on where you live what is available so you just uh, type in capacitor, then uh, click on aluminum capacitor, it's uh, electrolytic capacitors, and then you just choose the right values, like uh, the one we had here was a 3300 microfarad 50 volts, so this is something we have to choose, then it's a through hole component. Uh, and the temperature that the temperature should be chosen to be uh, not the 85 degrees it should be rated to at least 105 degrees Celsius and then after everything is sorted apply the filters and then choose I would choose the, the one with the highest rating ripple current and for the size you can just use anything that fits inside the space you have So this one here looks really good. So here in this case, just for demonstration demonstration purposes, I took one that I already had. It's 2,200 microfarad, 63 volts, and it's gonna work. Yeah, we turn the power on and power LED goes on there's no the terrible noise is uh, gone and it works yeah thanks for watching that was it uh, good luck with your repairs and have a good day